So practice 9.7 questions 1 finds the area of the following triangles. So when given two sides and an included angle, just like in questions A, then we can find the area triangle using the formula 1 over 2 AB sine C. So area triangle ABC will equal to 1 over 2 times 16.2 times 18.4 times sines 49 degree. The answer is 112.48. Questions B. In the triangle PQR, we also have two sides and one included angle. So the area will be 1 over 2 times 7 times 10 times sines 125 degree. The answer is 28.67 cm square. Question C. So in the triangle XYZ, we have two angle and one side. So here we need to find the length of another side. So the one that I'm going to use here will be the length of XY. So that we have two sides and one included angle. So first we need to find the angle at the Z here. So using 180 minus 60 minus 35, the angle at the Z will be 85 degree. So this 85 degree is opposite the length of XY, whereas this 10 centimeter is opposite this 35. So using sine's rule, we can find the length of XY. So XY over sine 85 degree is equal to 10 over sine 35. So xy is equal to 10 over sine 35 times sine 85, which is equal to 17.37. So area of the triangle xyz will equal to 1 over 2 times 10 times 17.37 times sine 60 degree, which is equal to 75.21. Questions number 2. In the diagram on the right, the area of triangle LMN is 78.72 cm square. Find the length of LM. Using the length of LM, and the length of nm, then this 20 will become the included angle. Then the area of the triangle, which is the 78.72, can be found by using the formula 1 over 2 ab sine c. So here, 1 over 2 times the length of lm times 17 times sine 20 degree this will equal to 78.72. Next, I'm going to move this 1 over 2 to the right-hand side. It will be 78.72 times 2, which is equal to 157.44. To find LM, we're going to move 17 times sine 20 to the right-hand side. So LM will equal to 157.44 divided by 17 times sine 20, which is equal to 27.08 cm. Questions number 3. The diagram on the right shows triangle BCD and triangle ABD. Find the area of triangle ABD. So this will be the area that we want to find. The triangle BCD is an isosceles triangle as the length of BC is equal to the length of BD. Therefore, the angle BDC is equal to the angle BCD, which is 55 degree. ADC is a straight line. Then we can find the angle ADB here. 
So the angle ADB will equal to 180 minus 55 degree, which is equal to 125 degree. So now we can find the angle ABD using 180 minus 24.18 minus 125, which is equal to 30.82. So now in the triangle ABD, we have two sides and one included angle. Area the triangle ABD will equal to 1 over 2 times 10 times 20 times sine 30.82, which is equal to 51.23. Question number 4. Find the area of triangle XYZ given X is equal to 5.5, Z equal to 7, and the angle Y is equal to 70 degree 30 minutes. So let's say this is the triangle XYZ. And let's say the angle here is the angle Y, which is equal to the 70 degree 30 minutes. So the sides, which is opposite this angle Y will be the small letter Y. And let's say here is the X. Then the side which is opposite this X will be the small letter X which is equal to the 5.5 meter. And this will be the vertex Z. So the side which is opposite to the Z here will be the small letter Z, which is equal to the 7 meter. So here straight away we have two sides and one included angle. To find the area of the triangle XYZ, it will be 1 over 2 times 7 times 5.5 times sine 70 degree 30 minutes, which is equal to 18 point one five.